Shaz Juice Williams, Brooklyn, New York, senior point guard. Here comes Williams again to the rim. Got inside and banks it up and in with his right hand. And that's how the scoring starts, Chaz. He's always energetic. Wakes up at 7 in the morning screaming. That's just Chaz. Williams in rhythm. Got it. Before he ever stepped on the court for UMass, Chaz Williams knew he had a chance to be part of something special. My first year here, I sat out with Max Isho and Caddy Lane, and um, we spoke about things like this, but we didn't see it to happen years later. We thought it would happen right away and instantly. Well, lane up to Williams. He's running to the rim. Scoops it up. Oh! Off the glass and in. What a shot. Less than four years after he arrived in Amherst, the Hofstra transfer has the Minutemen on the cusp of returning to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1998. People like the underdog. They like the, the smaller guy who brings a, a chip on his shoulder. And, and Chaz really exemplifies what UMass, really the Western Mass and UMass community is all about. Williams almost didn't stick around for his senior season. This past summer, the 22-year-old received a contract offer from a team in Turkey worth $150,000. He turned it down. You know, I thought about my family, uh, you know, being able to benefit my family, take care of everybody that I want to take care of. But then again, I felt like, you know, I would be leaving some unfinished business. And, um, you know, my mom always told me, never leave, your, never leave the dinner table unless your plate is finished. And, you know, I felt like I would have been left leaving here without my plate being finished, and I didn't want to do that, so, you know, I'm happy I did it. I think basketball is what drives him to uh, hopefully someday provide for his family, um, his daughter, his mother, and, and um, you know, all his, all his family members, and, the, and to use this kind of as the vehicle to, um, to a successful life. You know, I want to graduate. Um, you know, basketball only going to last but so long, so when it's done, I want to be able to, you know, start my own business or do something positive where, you know, I don't have to worry about going back to school to finish it. They've been called the Cardiac Minutemen. Williams, double team, gets through to the rim, banks it up, banks it in! Jazz scores again on the drive! UMass has trailed in the final five minutes in five of its first seven Atlantic 10 wins, and more often than not, the smallest player on the floor has been right in the middle of the rally. Sometimes as we come out down, you know, he just, he just pick, picks us up, you know, starts scoring, you know, and from there, you end up looking, he got 20 points. I'm just a competitor. Uh, I hate to lose, so I do everything in my power and my will to, you know, try to bring the team back, or if, if I see a player open and I try to make a tough pass or something, but, you know, it's just me growing up in Brooklyn, just having to fight for everything I wanted or having to prove myself over and over and over again. Williams is one of just 30 players in the country named to the midseason watch list for the Naismith Trophy, awarded annually to the top basketball player in Division I. We'll have to wait until June to find out whether or not an NBA team takes a chance on Chaz in the draft. But either way, his head coach believes he'll have an opportunity to make an impact at basketball's highest level. Everybody wants winners. They want tough point guards that know how to play, that can pressure the ball for, for 94 feet. And he's a guy that's dynamic. He's fun to be around and fun to watch, and he'll come in and work. So, you know, he'll, he'll surprise some people like he has his whole career. You know, doubted in high school, doubted in AU, Hofstra, up to UMass, and, and I think he's uh, exceeded expectations every step of the way. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel.